is zero, you want to highlight. You want to highlight a is actually the number of x squared. Uh, x squared. So when you say a is more than zero, the curve open. Uh, uh, this is a real way of uh, describing. So we open upwards. And when we say upwards, uh, we mean that like uh, there's a U shape and then it is going right. Upwards. Okay, upwards. So I just mean that it has a what kind of point? Uh, the phrase here they are moving for is is this a maximum or minimum point? And there's a U shape. So you see that over here this is a minimum turning point. Now let me describe the turning point to you. We say that uh, Orlando is going downward, 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 downward. At this particular point, uh, you realize that it is turning a direction. It is going upwards. So that's why sometimes you also call this point as turning point. Like I go down, go down, go down, go down. Up here, I go up. So I turn, I turn the direction, something like that. So minimum turning point. Now when A is less than zero, then this is called what? The curve what? Open downwards. So open downwards can also be uh, described as in I have an N shape and then it is like, like going downwards. Going downwards. And it has a, what kind of a point? Maximum, huh? so write down maximum turning point. And uh, what of a graph passes through the minimum or maximum point? Can you write down the line of symmetry? You write down, then we go back to the previous stage, and then I show you evidence. The line of symmetry actually is on along the turning point, the minimum or maximum turning point. So let's go back to the previous page. So let's go back to the previous page. So you see that the blue line, the line of symmetry, the minimum point is on the line of symmetry. The other one, the blue line is the line of symmetry, the maximum point is on the line of symmetry. Follow? Yeah, huh? Right. So let's go on to the next part. Now I have this practice time. Find the maximum value. 9.15. Many decimal place. Alright, so you might have five boxes. So you can count now. Five boxes is equal to two units. One square is actually how many units? Zero point one. Zero point four, right? Really? Zero point four. So half a square will be 0 0.2 uh. So you cannot go smaller than 0 0.2 That means you cannot have two decimal places That's what it means So then, therefore the answer is just 9 Alright How do I get 9? Very simple I look at my maximum point My maximum point is 1,9 When I look at the value uh, I want the maximum minimum value I'm referring to the the y value. So can you write down this one? I actually want the y value. Always the y value, not the x value. Okay, because you want the highest point. Is is x equal to y the highest point? Actually, doesn't make sense because it fluctuates along the x axis. And follow. And uh, now next person will tell us. Okay, can I, all of you draw the line of symmetry? You draw, I draw, then we compare. What do you think? Uh, uh, what do you think? The line of symmetry is the line of symmetry. 
Okay, now I draw, and then you see whether is it correct. Is it here? No, right? Is it here? Still no? Yeah, yeah. So it's here. So it's here. So this is the value of GPT. Now, in the example, do you tell the teacher, now nah, this is the thing about my work. You will label the B flow to the line. So you will label like that. Alright, you may want to draw a dotted line and put here 9, and then put here this is the answer for A. Alright, so this is the answer for A, answer for B. Okay? Okay, so uh, uh, in the exam, this one is a 10 mark question. 10 mark, uh, 10 mark means 2 grade. 2 grade means you are improved by 2 grade. Okay? Yeah, 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 you are going to draw an exam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Later I show you very simple, very simple. Okay? Now, third so one, can you write down the equations of y of symmetry? Now, how do I write the equation? Okay, I teach you a very easy way to write. Huh? For vertical line, I want you to take note where did it cut? It cut at this part of the x axis, right? Hey, can you tell me the number for this? One. One. This is one. This is one. And can you tell me this point here? This point is along x or y? X. So we say that this is x equals to one. Easy? So the answer is x equals to one. Okay. Easy? The longer story of this will be like that. Huh? Can you help me on the blue line mark this coordinate? This person will tell us what the Say a vertical line. Now, use this knowledge. Can you draw y equals to negative two? Everyone, huh? everyone draw y equals to negative two. So, uh, draw a line. So, make a prediction. Just look at that. Make a prediction. Where is y equals to negative two? On top or below? Below the y Can you see four lines? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So y equals to negative two means that uh, it is actually a uh, not a particular line anymore, but a uh, horizontal line. So for this, for this, I'm able to draw something like that. Please use a ruler and draw this line. And this is the answer for D. Everyone clear? Okay. Now for clarity's sake, you want to measure the equation as well. So you can write something like that. Y equals to negative 2. Okay. 
Uh, like that, it's confirmed for one round. Now, last question. Draw, use each of graph. So, we cannot stop the rotation. Uh, use your graph, find the value of x where y is equal to negative 2. x, that means you want the value of x. Let's do this again. Where exactly did the blue line and the curve meet? How many times? One or two? Do you see two? Yeah. Where is the blue one? Uh? The curve is here. My blue line is here. Start one time. The curve go up, then come down again. Start one time. So these two are the answers for E. Because you look at the question, how many values? Values. Also oh, the values is for two. Okay. So where are the two? Very simple. You just draw a dotted line up. Draw a dotted line up. X equal to what? Four one. Point. Can we? Can we have a consensus? Four point four. Yeah. The other one. X equal to negative two point. Yeah. Can we do a plus minus? Let's be more confusing here because. The data out of the real card is going to be discretized the uh, the unit. So just two more. You want to write four by two of the test. How about this? Energy two point four. Okay, ten. Now three four. Now how do you write the answer? You will then write beside the line here. This is energy two point four or x equals to four point four. Like that. Now let me show you exam where are the 10 marks. Every one thing we draw here is one mark. So you can expect this to be two marks. This to be one mark. One. 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 The graph is three marks. You draw the graph on the graph paper is three marks. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine. Nine to the 10 marks. Later, I'll show you, yes. I'll show you. Okay, yes, better. Can we go to the next part? Just stay in. What's going on? Mr. Lawson is disturbing you. Seems like it. Uh. Yes, you have to bring some ruler and it's recorded. Uh. Uh, please bring your first ruler and Brown paper gets lesson. If you don't want to bring brown paper, you can bring money. Because you can sell brown paper to your friends between 10 cents to $1 per piece. But I think downstairs, the brown paper one pack is only $1. Alright, so if you want to bring money, you can sell the internet. Then go and find our friend and buy. Right, uh, let's go to the next.